Now for this part we will start making the bark for these objects Okay, so you will need this bark texture that will be provided with the project files It's called bark displacement, okay So we will use the displacement modifier The displace modifier and we will use it before the last mirror modifier so when after the displacement the object will be mirrored to the other side so both sides will look the same if you want both sides to look different just uh, make sure that you put the displace modifier after the mirror okay now I'll simply enable my displace and you can see that the object is now screwed up so to correct that it's just because that the strength is too big just set the strength to something like 0 0.1 or even 0 0.01 okay and in the this texture of the displacement just hit new and it will call it texture.001 I will split this into two I'll leave the modifiers in here and in this part I will click on here show texture in texture tab and you will see the texture in here texture.001 that we're using for the displace modifier in here select the image or movie and in settings hit open and make sure to select the bark displacement okay now you can see that it's starting to give an effect but it's too low resolution to make it more detailed just go to the subdivision surface modifier and increase it to four levels okay now you can see what the strength does it changes how strong the effect is okay I'll leave it to 0.01 or 0.012 for now something like this okay in texture coordinates you can change this from local to global or object or UVs I will use UV and I will also split this into two and change this to UV editor okay now I will go into edit mode select my whole object and press U and I will press Smart UV Project. Okay, leave everything to default, hit OK, and it will unwrap. See how it looks like right now. Okay, you can go into edit mode and press on this edit mode in here on the displace modifier so we can preview how it looks like. You can even press on the, this triangle in here to see it better. And now you can select all of the UVs and scale them up and down. I'll remove them to move the displacement texture. Okay. And something like this. Maybe. I will definitely uh, lower the strength to maybe 0 0.0. 0.075 play around with the UVs until you find something that you like okay and lower the strength even more I think maybe 0 0.005 mm, okay that's too soft so 0 0.0075 was good okay so keep moving the UVs until you find something that you like The smaller the details you want, the bigger the UVs you need, but it will look repetitive at some point, so don't go overboard with it. 
So I'll just give it something like uh, I think acceptable. I'll keep it something like this. Okay. Now I will add the same modifier in here. Add the displace modifier and move the strength to 0 0.0075 again and in the texture select the same texture and you will see that the detail is almost not existing and that's because the, the mesh is too much low resolution just go to subsurf modifier and move it to four levels on the viewport and make sure to change the texture coordinates to UV now select everything in edit mode hit U and smart UV project enable this uh, edit mode in here display in edit mode for the displace modifier even select it uh, enable the triangle so it's easier to view and play around with the scale again We, you may have to readjust this model after the other, after changing the texture in there just a little bit like that make sure that it still fits in here also okay okay we will have to scale up these ones too okay now we also need to add the same modifier for this one for this object so add modifier, displace modifier, change the texture and the texture coordinates. Okay, the strength to 0, 0, 0.075 and the subsurf modifier to four levels. Now in edit mode, select everything, hit U and smart UV project, keep everything to default, press OK enable these options to displace modifier for the displace modifier so we can see in edit mode now select all of the uvs and move them around and rotate them at scale i think i will increase the strength a little bit for this one maybe 0.009 Okay, now I will just select all of these ones and scale them up. In edit mode, select everything and scale it up a little bit. Okay. Now that's our high poly model. And we just need to sculpt a little bit on it. And we are done modeling the high poly. I just I think that this one looks a little bit too strong the effect compared to the other ones so I will simply just uh, lower it a little bit and this one needs to be a little bit more strong I think so 0 0.01 maybe or perhaps play around with the scale A G then Z twice to move these up again and we're done in here I think yep looks fine so we can move on